Thanks indeed for investing your time with us. The program is still this morning on ITV. It's now time for us to look at the aviation sector as usual of this program. We will be excelling issues that go down on air uh, traveling here. Most persons believe that it is the fastest uh, means of traveling. Yeah, it is. It is the fastest means of traveling uh, across because if you look at airline and sea, seas obviously sometimes are very slow depending on what you're going with. But largely air transportation is the fastest that you can go even when we talk about the supersonic uh, jet planes here the ones faster than sound that than uh, even sound as well as even light here oh how we got our aviation african house here one who have loved the sector more than the sector i love it <laughs> Mr. Godwinikin, very wonderful morning. Hi, good morning, Atta. Very wonderful morning. Uh, wonderful. Uh, how, how was the weekend? Well, the weekend is fine. It's okay. As always. As always. As always. Somehow, most of the parents around here, yeah. we survived last week when the kids resume, uh, talk about school fees here. But this week, we hope we will not be getting tribute if we have not even uh, largely paid the school fees. We hope we will go through. Uh, it's something that we need to pay for granted. I must tell you from my own personal experience that uh, Atta, um, God is interested in children. I still cannot tell how I gave my children the best education money to ever buy. I still can't explain it. But I can only say that God is interested in children. The whole business is to just focus on doing your job and doing it diligently. And any money, putting them away and focused on the real things of life, which one of them being I will stop at that now before we go into the counseling class. If I have to go so deep in aviation, if I allow him to go straight here, those who, are, who went to school to study uh, a guidance and counseling will actually be pushed out of job here. I trust Mr. Godin, a man that is smart, talented, mm -hmm. a jack of all trade as well as a master of all. Yeah, last week we talked about a flight delay on the program. Uh, we we're saying you, you, you traveled uh, during the course of last week here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, from Lagos and other areas, is there an improvement? Um, uh, I must tell you that, uh, um, yes, the airports are looking uh, better than they were. However, services for the airlines uh, uh, still have uh, areas that need improvement, okay. especially the issues of uh, flight delay. It's become really uh, traditional, constant. I mean, I had a three o'clock flight to uh, uh, precisely 8 10 uh, p.m. flight to um, Lagos. I didn't leave Abuja until about uh, a quarter to 9 p.m. The same way I had another afternoon flight, you know, back to Abuja after the ACI conference that I attended. Um, at a, I didn't leave Lagos until about excuse me, it, it, uh, past 8 p.m. And my flight was supposed to be a 3 o'clock flight. And so um, it's, it's really becoming traditional. And nobody, everybody's so, so disgusted and helpless. Nobody's even uh, seeking redress anymore from the Bureau of Rights that uh, we have out there. And the airlines have taken it for granted that uh, passengers are more desperate to travel than making trouble. And so it's not, it's not getting the situation better. Uh, it's my hope that, that those who are in charge of this will um, uh, call these airlines, find out what their challenges are, attend to them, and then um, have us have more precise uh, timing in, 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 in okay. our journey. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Godike. Uh, the, the, the contact yeah. you saw, the contact was displayed on the screen while Mr. Godike was talking. You can reach him. You can, okay, that's the contact on the screen here. I'll go with NEK. Our telephone numbers are there. The website for you to visit is there. And that's uh, www.aviationafrics.com uh, here. The YouTube our channel is also there. You can tweet. You can interface with him on the uh, on, on his email address at godik at yahoo.com the phone numbers are there two of them yes you are welcome most time please try and send sms because sometimes it's in different conferences as well as preparing and studying because it's one of those who still read and read and burn not only the camp now throughout the night here but going through the night to ensure that he stockpile knowledge in his celebrated hemisphere okay this morning we will be discussing on uh the 59th airport council international as aic conference that took place in lagos state 
from the 14th to the 20th of April 2018. So much aviation stakeholders, we are all gathered to brainstorm on ways at improving the nation's aviation sector, and you cannot get that there. Uh, Mr. Godike, my guest, was one of those who sat there and brainstormed heavily on how to ensure that when we fly, we fly safely and our airport give us the best service we were paying for here. Now, let's start off here. Uh, why was this conference organized? Yes, um, the uh, uh, ACI oh, is oh, oh, What's the conference about? <laughs> yes, ACI is simply uh, known as um, um, Airport Cancer International. Airport Cancer International, formerly known as ACI. You have you have the ACI World. That is this, uh, the, the office that handles all the activities of uh, you know airports worldwide. Um, uh, you know, making sure that uh, you know airports are commercially viable and the airports are well equipped and uh, designed in a way to 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 be fun to the, to the users. And these days, uh, it's been recognised that airports, if well articulated and and and, and um, arranged, you know, can add a lot to the GDP of uh, participating um, uh, member nations. And so, uh, uh, SCI, the, the you know, uh, made a, a, a one country or the other, you know, every other time, not necessarily annually, but as the fixed. The, the, you know, uh, there are meetings around the world, member states, uh, representatives attend and uh, brainstorm, you know, share knowledge on uh, new ideas, like what I saw in, 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 and heard in Lagos, I was thrilled and amazed that people are coming, and very young people from matter uh, who, 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 who made presentations, you know, uh, new ideas, how we can really have our airports become like supermarkets, you know, not just for people to go join, you know, the, uh, no, get into the airplane, fly to one place and come. Now airports are being designed and uh, uh, configured in a way that you can actually relax as if you're in your hotel. You, you can shop, buy anything on the surface of the earth that, that you, you want. So they, they have made it commercially viable um, and so that they can make profit and then add to the GDP of the nation, create jobs. And so the, the business of uh, ACI is to continue to develop airports, help member nations to develop and um, finance the development of their Airports in such a way as to achieve this goal. And we're going to see that when we begin to read through our uh, uh, tapes. Uh, so our viewers will, you know, have okay, that can appreciation. We, can we read one, one, please? So our viewers will have a clear appreciation of uh, what this is all about. Yeah, clip one is right there for us. Uh, first of all, see that lovely man that is uh, smiling at us. He is the current. Um, uh, uh, pre uh, president of ACI Africa. Uh, uh, you're going to see how uh, you know ACI is uh, you know denominated in regions. ACI Africa is the current and guess what? And guess what? That uh, he is our own managing director of Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. Fan. He is the current managing director as, as well as the, the the president of ACI you know, Africa. That is our own there. So, uh, but let's let's get on with the cl clip one. Uh, a, a review of Airport Council International uh, ACI Fitness Africa Board and Committees meetings and regional conference and exhibitions, April 14 to 20th. Uh, 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 2018, Airports Council International ACI. This is a non-profit organization representing commercial airports worldwide. ACI exists in five geographical regions of the world. They include Africa, Asia Pacific, Europe, Latin America, Caribbean, and uh, North America. Those are those are the regions. You know, uh, as um, they have done, I mean, put the structure to control 
you know, uh, activities of airports worldwide. So um, you, you will see the number one there is Africa. Uh, our own uh, engineer, Saleh Dunoma, the managing director of FAN, uh, is the current president of ACI Africa. You know, as, uh, so uh, let's move to click two very quickly. Time is usually not our friend here at our like you well know, before, before, before it chases us away from the studio. Uh, we have quite a lot to look at. Um, review of ACI meeting in Lagos, Nigeria continues. As a region of ACI, ACI Africa was established in 1991 in keeping with ACI bylaws. Although self governing, ACI Africa does not have um, a legal status different from ACI to which it is integral part. I hope you understand what, what that means. We'll be asking you what does self governing mean? Is it that it's just on its own? Is it that ACI has a strong, strong influence over how airports are managed? What does that mean? So self governing means that you know you have ACI world. Correct. That we will see all the yes, the yes that's correct. Right. That that that's correct. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, what is saying is that uh, there are bylaws that have been made for operation of ACI, but those that are operating, say, for instance, in Africa, are operating independently as as a body, but legally speaking, they are an integral part of ACI world. So that's that's the meaning of it. Yeah. You know, you're free to run. We have our bylaws. Just keep yourself within the confines of the laws, and then move on without any interference. For as long as you're moving in accordance with with the established bylaws, that's the whole meaning of self. Uh, you know, go, uh, describing as self uh, governing. But then. Um, it, it, it doesn't have a legal status that is different from the ACI world. What it means to me is if you were to sue ACI Africa for any reason, you're actually suing ACI world. So ACI world will be responding and not necessarily ACI Africa because they are one and the same. Do you, you get the point? Clear. That's correct. So that's what we're dealing with here. Okay. Uh, then, um, the, the internal rules, we we'll stop at uh, to which it is an integral part. So the internal rules of the region were amended and updated during the 23rd ACI Africa Regional Annual Meeting, conference and exhibition held in Durban, South Africa uh, in October 2014. Look at that gentleman you know, attached uh, there. Ali. His name is uh, Mr. Tunsi Ali. Uh, it's a secretary general of ACI Africa. I think he comes from Algeria, some, some around there. Yeah. So that's. Um, uh, can we walk quickly to um, uh, clip three, very quickly, please? Yes. That's okay, the uh, conference. That's correct. So uh, ACI Africa's mission, you know, the, remember we're dealing with part one right up to there. Next Monday we'll do the part two and final part where we'll see all the, you know, summaries of papers presented and what they are recommending that we should do to have fun at our airports. It's really awesome. Now, uh, ACI Africa's mission to act as an economic catalyst on the African continent. You see, you see one, one of their uh, missions to provide effective and quality airport services to African uh, aviation community, uh, to contribute in the development of sustainable, safe and secure air transport in Africa, and more particular about this particular contribution, <laughs> uh, to, uh, to contribute to the growth and success of East member states, of Nigeria being one of them. Take a look at the photograph on the, uh, on the right. Do you recognize those individuals there? I, I think I could see you there. You, you, you're the one and next to the man there. That's correct. Uh, foolish um, there, yeah. like that. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That man there. That man there is um, Abdul Kadir uh, Rafin Dadi. Mr. Rafin Dadi is the director commercial of Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. Fan. Okay. I'm a very good friend of mine. Uh, I always love sitting next to him because he has very bright and fantastic ideas about you know about the aviation sector i love sharing with him you know um uh, so we sat we sat together all through that conference on the, on the front row as, as you can see now if you uh, to the picture on the left um exactly. it's uh, 
uh, you know, some of the young presenters. I wish those photographs you know, could be zoomed in to see how like the young... Like a discussion segment I'm seeing this. That's right. How young and agile, the, pe the, the, the people you find sitting there, you know, sharing fantastic and thrilling ideas about how we can make our airports uh, economically viable. Um, are, we, are, we, are we set? What are, are we set for clip for here? Are we set for all of these? So are they, are they dragging us into uh, the far future that we're not set to? So if they consider Nigeria worthy of hosting this particular one, it, it actually held at the uh, Lagos um, Oriental you know, uh, Hotel in Victoria Island. Wonderful environment, beautiful hall, the top of range uh, technology, I mean media technology. It is, uh, I, I was quite impressed. At, uh, any time I say to you that I'm impressed, be sure, uh, be sure that uh, it's top of the range. I'm very impressed. That's why <laughs> it's top of the I, I would never forget anyone in this world. Okay, so <laughs> let's, let's have a yeah. quickly. Yeah, clip four, clip four, very quickly. That's clip four. Yes, uh, ACI Africa's vision. You know, we just finished with the mission. The vision to be the leading regional association of the education industry in Africa. And objectives. Uh, take note of these objectives. Maybe we we'll have a little uh, extra time. You're going to be asking me a few questions on those. Uh, contribute uh, to the improvement of, of secure, a secure, safe, and sustainable development of aviation uh, in airport, uh, African airports, or in Africa. Sorry, in Africa. Uh, number two is maximize the contributions of African airports towards development of an ordered and economically viable regional air transport system. Uh, 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 I'm taking some of these uh, objectives okay. so that we, go, we want to talk about them and see how we can domesticate and uh, get the aviation sector in Nigeria, you know, um, uh, tagging along and developing and, being, and becoming better. Yeah. Uh, uh, number three, co cooperate uh, with, uh, with regional actors. Cooperate, sorry, my dear viewers, that word is supposed to be cooperate, C O O, uh, not cooperate. Please uh, correct accordingly. Uh, cooperate with regional actors of the industry and others for the improvement of the aviation system in Africa and its public perception public perception on a regional and international scale. And the number four is contribute to the increase of the professional excellence. Uh, do you get that? Yeah, and conformity with the international standards and best practices in the African airports. Uh, clip five very quickly. So now we begin to see, um, uh, yeah, yeah, are we there? Uh, um, objectives continue. Uh, number five. Number six. Yes, number five. Influence local and regional legislation, regulations for the benefit of airport operators in Africa. Number six. Uh, cooperate with ACI World. Now we have it uh, in the correct spirit. Uh, <laughs> uh, cooperate with ACI World and all the regions of ACI to successfully defend the interests of the airports on the international level towards the cohesion of ACI as single entity representing all airports across the world. And number seven. To build ACI Africa's organizational capacity. capacity. I saw good capacity in Lagos, I must tell you. I saw good capacity, and guess what? It was actually hosted by our own fan, the Airport Authority of Nigeria. Very impressive. And uh, I didn't waste time in giving them my thumbs up and said to them, uh, I think I want to identify with you. You guys, you guys are beginning to do excellently well. I like things that are done well at her. <laughs> yes, no, yeah, no, that's not all. You can't compromise. Uh, let's, let's, yes, uh, no, 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 no. Never, 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 never. It's it, a good nation we fall from the skies. We've got to work at it. If you, if you see all the nations of the world, let people admire the good things like Singapore, uh, I mean, uh, Malaysia, 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 you see. I don't want to be calling the Western nations of the United States of America, UK, okay. and the rest. You want to call the Asian Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> because those, nice are, those, those are people we, we started national lives with. And they moved on. 
we, and, we, and they move stay, very far. Yes, and we stay back. Have you been to the Singapore airport? Oh, amazing. I, 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 amazing. I, I was turning back from it's Singapore. Magic. I, magic. I, I, I was shocked that I was looking for my gate. I, I, they said our flight was in gate E. And from gate 1 to gate E, a small, tiny nation, very small, tiny, not as big as Abuja. Yes. But the airport is something that is, you can't, you can't right. the airport in Nigeria together. I don't think it's okay. I'm going to free my viewers next month before we do part two of this. I'm going to run, I'm going to run a clip on the Singapore airport. Uh, it, 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 it will amaze you. Thank and you, you see the technology, future. you see the technology in place. Everything is do it yourself. As a matter of fact, you walk through with your, uh, I mean, uh, electronic systems identify who you are and let you through. If you are, if you're there with the wrong documentation, it, it doesn't identify you and it stops you. And all sorts, all sorts. My dear viewers, the promise. I'm going to get you um, a few minutes of clip to show you the Singapore airport, and then you begin to no, you begin to you wonder. Can well, link one year. Yeah. 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 the airport, the housing, the housing arrangement. Yeah. Yeah. The one I saw there, uh, I, I think a Sakota. The one I saw at Mustafa, uh, Little India, all those areas. When I go, I just sit down. You start to look. Yeah. 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 So you, you can imagine, you can imagine how some of us feel. When we know we can really do better things in Nigeria and we are so frustrated and so held back that we don't seem to be able to have things done. The kids would love to put square square pegs around holes <laughs> and vice versa. Let's look at those uh, um, uh, you know, plates and then extend you know, to our viewers who these individuals are just, just photographed. Uh, okay. So that's our own. Um, uh, president of ICO, uh, our own doctor, Olumiria Bernard Aliu. You, you really believe he's a Nigerian, you know, the president of ICO council. And of course, our own, you know, engineer, uh, Salad Dunoma, the, the managing director of FAN and president of, uh, of uh, yes, uh, ACI. And that is Tosi Ali, the secretary general of ACI Africa. Um, do we have another one coming? Let's see. Oh, our own uh, Sally Dunoma, uh, uh, while speaking uh, during the opening ceremony at uh, at uh, the, this last uh, ACI conference. That's uh, Addis Rika. And of course, our amiable um, uh, aviation minister, Addis Rika. Uh, he was live at the. Uh, oh, I'm not hearing too much of him since the airport. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the wrong way fix it. I, I, I told Addis Rika that at the villa, <laughs> and I'm not hearing it. Since he fixed the wrong way, he did that magic. We never talk about walk. Then he said, look, he cannot walk to shut it down and carry out the comprehensive scarification of the top uh, asphalt and carry out and carry out and, and actually lay very new uh, ash uh, for the plane to run give us a brand new runway he did that and everyone thought how the city car was going to fire from that uh, from that place like a jet engine quite new so the city car coming down to the 3x i will leave, I will, I will leave that i will leave that to you journalists no to you journalists okay. to engage and find out well, uh, he has other hot plans on, on the table that he plans to rule out, never know, or whether he's... Well, uh, uh, he uh, fired that at that airport at uh, the wrong way, uh, right. uh, uh, the, the, the world was shot. Even uh, you never believe that. Uh, I never believe. I was actually waiting for him to, to miss that date, and I'll give him a really hard nod. So, uh, when he kept faith with the date, and everything went as planned, and I say, yes, now we, now I agree we have a, a bright, intelligent man in dealing with our aviation sector. Um, but I understand when you say we've not had much of him after that. There's so much work to be done. At that time, he dominated yeah. the media space everywhere, right. everywhere. Yeah. He, was, yeah. he was moving from Kaduna to Abuja, uh, organizing some helicopter services to take people who are in a hurry, uh, organizing everything. Bus services, uh, Abuja, Kaduna, which uh, way was worked on by the Minister of Works. Everyone was like, Hadi Sirika was just there. After that, we thought, okay, Hadi Sirika, we finished part one. Can we just go into the house, take Asha, roll back the sleeves again, and hit the ground running? What message do you get from feet during that challenging time? You know what message personal you know I got from that and I still get from that it's something I think about it shows you that we get serious and keep away um, dirty politics, keep away all, all the religious uh, you know uh, challenges that we are having and all the differences that uh, politicians 
just I tell you what, an average Nigerian loves his neighbor, no matter where he or she comes from. But politicians make us feel as if we are fighting and we are begging that they should drop that attitude. The message I get from that activity of um, uh, moving, uh, you know, fight to Kaduna and Fitzima is that if we want to fix this nation within four years, we can fix this nation. All hands and back and transform this nation it's unbelievable and uh, you see for instance in the aviation sector i've said these times without number we we do not need our money as nigeria to grip our aviation sector it's the africa can can resolve the funds we need but we need to show that we can generate enough money to pay back usually in, in uh, uh, as little as interest-free, almost interest-free funding. But have we put our acts together, put the papers together to prove that if we do this, revenue will come in, we will be able to pay back, put the right management in place and get things going, convince the, the, the people that will fund this, and money will flow, will, will flow in and the job will be done. So these excuses are, oh, where, where are we going to find money to do this? It, these are questions by ignorant folks. Questions asked by ignorant folks. If you don't ask such questions, come find me. And I'll tell you how we can fix our aviation sector. There's so much money out there. Well, if, 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 uh, I, I do want to be discussing uh, uh, from next week, part two of it. Yes. I'll be looking at that because what the, the experience I, I told you my experience mm. when, when one was connecting from Cape Town uh, to Johannesburg to Lagos and had a four hour uh, flight, uh, side flight gap, let me use the word now, to rest at the Olympambo uh, Airport in Johannesburg. Mm. I, I really felt, how will I stay four hours in the airport? It's going to be a lot of power in here. Now we get to the airport, it was one big marketplace. Oh, yes. It was like just in a shopping center, mm -hmm. people take your drinks, take your snacks, yes. buy your clothes, buy everything you want to buy duty free and when the four hours was elapsing i saw someone telling me hey you're you're everybody everybody you know i'm going to do there you don't want to go since i know you you are a, a, a good traveler and traveler i love you know, i'm a traveler <laughs> but i'm going to do something for you today okay. it's uh do free even though they haven't paid for this advert they are getting from me, but I know someday they will appreciate what we are doing. I'm going to give you um, uh, a site that you will visit and then download an application. You know what that means? Once you download the application, you don't, you don't even have to have a uh, you know, physical card. That um, uh, application you download, anywhere you go to any airport in the world to do your duty-free shop, you get extra discounts. Apart from the fact that the, what you're buying is already free of duties, you get yet extra discount on the money you pay for the different things you buy by just flashing that you have a download of, of the free application. Okay. You're going to get one. Right. I, I discovered that just in this last meeting okay. in, in, in Lagos. You know what I love most about the airport? When I arrive before I check it, mm -hmm. I go for cash refund. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, at the uh, so, uh, uh, part two of this, we're going to see summary of the different papers delivered. Uh, you know, between the 14th and the 20th of April, I was there live, as, you, as you've seen evidence. Um, uh, we'll see the different papers and what, what are the inputs of those topics that were delivered, and what are those papers asking us to do as a nation. If we have enough time, we'll, we'll try to analyze those and hope that our fan will follow up on the gains of that meeting. Okay, thank you very much, yes. uh, Mr. Uh, Godwin N. E. A. Next week, we'll be looking at the part two of the uh, ACI uh, International uh, Meeting in Lagos, where uh, stakeholders from the continent, Asian sector, and some around the world gathered together to brainstorm uh, ways of uh, carrying Africa along and ensuring that ensuring that Africa actually raises its head high in the League of Nations when it comes to issues of aviation. We'll be talking with uh, Mr. Godwin E. A. We'll be uh, as well bringing that to you uh, come next week, Monday at uh, 7 at 8 a.m. Thanks for coming with us. Come in and spend your time with us.
Az itt nem tárja, örök ág. Örök ág, 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 at the airport, I don't know how uh, come they got so close to the airport here. They get at the airport, and everyone knew that look, there was going to be a problem in Benin. The man had moved the motion at the floor of the Senate saying that look, uh, the withdrawal of the over 400 million US dollar for the purchase of the fighter jets by President Mohamed Buhari was wrong, and that is an impeachable offense. And when the senator was airborne, a uh, news feed uh, to the APC and the PDP uh, youths uh, in Benin, they all gathered there uh, for a show of. And so what the, the airport environment was uh, almost messed up. The governor had to come in to rescue the senator. And while he was doing that, the senator's app was removed from his head. We saw uh, in the airport premises a beating of party officials. The two uh, group, the APC and the PDP, Benin brought their youths together. It wasn't nice one at all. Still within the airport, but not in aviation. <laughs> but, uh, okay, that's the clip there. Okay, let's let you that while we take a break. We're going to talk. I give you a couple of joining me or six. The reason why is it come here at the Bini airport as different groups have stormed this airport either in support or against the motion moved by the senator representing Edo South Senator District, Senator from Asisbaz Uroide. Over there are a group of anti Uroide who are here to condemn the motion in which he had called for the impeachment of President Muhammad Buhari. And this way, are hundreds of supporters drawn from across the state who are here in solidarity with Senator Matthew Rohide. For them, I believe that Rohide is a worthy son who has represented the people of Edosa Senator and the street more effectively than they ever imagined. <laughs> Between 3 and 4 o'clock in the evening, the atmosphere at the Bini Airport this Friday was peaceful as the supporters of the APC stood at a distance from those of the PDP by chanting solidarity songs. However, the situation soon changed when the Edo State Commissioner of Police, Mr. John T. Kokumo, arrived at the airport. On sighting the police commissioner, the APC supporters left the position they were and clashed with the PDP supporters chanting songs that observers described as inciting, which also moved the PDP supporters to retaliate with solidarity song. <laughs> Commissioner was, however, forced to call for reinforcement as more policemen stormed the airport where both porters were moved to far distance within the airport premises to avoid breakdown of law and order. <laughs> But there was, however, a twist when the aircraft conveying the senator representing Edo South Central District, Senator Matthew Rohide, others touched down at the Bini Airport. While the senator was granting interview to clear the air on the said motion, the police allegedly went to sleep, allowing the APC supporters access to the senator to intimidate him. But as the PDP youth leader, after Tadios Urabo, received the beating of his life. <laughs> The 
the senator was however whisked into the vip lodge to avoid further embarrassment despite the friendly environment senator matthew rohide said he will not be intimidated by those he described as sponsored youths <laughs> The last is here to be heard of the matter as it was gathered that the senator was humiliated while the police commissioner watched helplessly. While the senator was still at the VIP lodge, a state governor, Mr. Gordon Obasaki, met with the senator and indicator that respite had come for Senator Matthew Rohide. However, the situation took a different twist as the governor accompanied the senator at the lodge only for the APC supporters to further humiliate the senator and remove this cap just as they jubilated with the governor. <laughs> Rabo, who narrated his ordeal, fingered some top government officials as the brains behind the attack on Senator Matthew Rohide. <laughs> It was gathered that some persons who sustained injury during the clash are currently receiving treatment at the hospital. <laughs> Mary Rupert.